Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Seoul, South Korea. This morning we are at the Noryangjin Fisheries Wholesale Market, which is a giant, mega, all things from the sea. There's fish, there's all things weird and wonderful. And one of the best things about this fish market, or seafood market, is that you can buy anything here and then you can take it to a restaurant which is right within the fish market and they will cook it on spot for you. So I'm about to meet up with some friends. It's 8.30 a.m. We're here for breakfast. We're gonna get a lot of seafood and we are gonna have a massive seafood breakfast, Korean food for breakfast today. I love this market. I've been here a couple of times on previous visits to Seoul. But actually, we showed up and the old location, which uh, we actually went there, which is right, I mean, it's right next to this new location. That's the place I went to last time and it's completely shut down. We looked at it, it's completely shut down. So now they've moved to this new indoor facility, which is really, it's actually really nice, really clean. Uh, again, just all things teeming and edible from the sea. It really is like a shopping mall of seafood and it's clean, it's so modern. We're here at about 8.30 a.m. It's pretty calm, it's pretty quiet, it's very, very manageable. What's amazing is that everything is live, everything, it really is an aquarium of seafood, a paradise. If you love seafood, you, you, there's just no way to miss this market when you're in Seoul. And the great thing about it also is that it's open 24 hours. Stepping to the outside section real fast. I think this is more of the wholesale, more of the packing section. They have frozen seafood, uh, maybe packing for export. But again, it is still very clean, very nice. The new facility and the diversity of seafood. You just, you just, if you love seafood, you just start to get this like energy. Good morning, man. How you doing? Good morning. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning. Good morning. Is what? Hey, hey. Oh, hey. This is new location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New location, right? Cucumber? Oh yeah, sea cucumber. Uh, I think. Oh, this is so fast. Yes. Yeah. Nice out there. One of the hardest things here is that there's just so much and so many stalls to choose from. Uh, you kind of eventually just gotta choose one, but we've stopped here at the corner. This is possibly the location where we're gonna buy a bunch of seafood. Yeah. yeah. Oh, same. Same, same. This one is bigger. bigger. Oh, that comes with a bonus. That comes with a bonus. <laughs> We're making some big life decisions life right decisions. now. I mean, what if we get it wrong? I mean, there is, of course, the both option. That, uh, that would solve it. I think it's got to be between the snow crab thing. and king oh, crab. Oh, okay. Deciding on crabs, but we're definitely getting some of the mega, mega pen shells, which are like, they are like mussels. I don't know, they're just, they're just huge. And she pulled us out a bonus one with a little extra <laughs> shell attached to it. Yeah. Oh, they're oh. squirting. It's like a squirt gun. <laughs> that is exactly why they're called sea squirts, or those are also called sea pineapples because they do look like a pineapple from the outside. I have had those before, those are delicious. Those are true, true seafood creatures. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You guys love seafood eating, right? Also a squirt, Yeah. but different type. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything more entertaining than watching a sea squirt squirt. <laughs> but she's loving it too. She is. We chose the right stall. She's friendly. She's awesome. She is just. Yeah, and we're just getting a selection. That squeeze skirt, sea squirt type number two. Bigger? No. Uh, I think they're good ones for me. This one is good. Beautiful. Yes. No crab. Awesome. <laughs> huh? That's Welcome okay. to our family dinner. Hey, you can hold this. Family Make breakfast. It On the side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an itch. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Yes, there was no way we were gonna get away without having one of, a few of those guys. Um, I think the actual name is a. Uh, is it a um, spoonworm? A spoonworm, that's what it is, but it's a, 
It's a squirter as well. Uh, steam. Steam. steam yeah. What about grilled? Can you grilled or not? Uh, only steam. Yeah, steam. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are awesome. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, we'll take this guy. <laughs> <laughs> she laid it all out on a tray that is a bounty of all things from the sea that is breakfast breakfast we did well we did well <laughs> what is your name thank you very much and she has stall number you can see up there stall number 17. 17. Yeah. She's been so nice, so <laughs> helpful to us in choosing the seafood. So when you come to Noryangjan Fish Market, this is the spot. Come here, the queen of seafood. She is the queen of seafood. Thank you very much. Okay, and now we go upstairs to cook everything. But before that, we get some sashimi. Sounds good. Yep. <laughs> Do you go for it? Sure. sure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right across from the other stall, they have tuna. We decided it was a necessary move to have some sashimi as well, so she, she just cut out a chunk from the belly, from the bottom of that fish, that tuna, and now they're gonna make it into sashimi. That's the last, I think that's the last of the seafood. I think we've, I think we've done well. Let's go. Oh, is he our, he's like the, Oh, damn. Follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> he did just kind of appear out of nowhere. This is a stairway to heaven. As we were buying the seafood, a man just, he did kind of just appear out of nowhere to collect our seafood and bring us, escort us upstairs. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Yeah, maybe take a look inside. Oh, they do have, they do have downstairs. They do have the low table seating. Okay. Is it good? Is this good? Okay. Are we just choosing? Yeah, they do. They do have. Okay. Just trying to choose a place. I think this is the spot right here. We're at number 16. Sashimi. 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 A little bit of confusion on the ordering because you gotta choose what you want for each seafood, but I think we figured it out. They're really nice. They're helping us out. And I think they know the best ways to cook all everything. They are so cool that I've got special access in the kitchen to watch them as they do some of the cooking. Oh, here's the octopus, the, the baby octopus. Fruit. They do not mess around. As soon as they got the word, as soon as we decided what to what to cook with each, which most of them are raw sashimi, like literally within minutes, within seconds, they're chopping everything up, they're plating everything as fresh as possible. When she cut open, there's two different types of those sea squirts. One is the pineapple one. One literally looks like a pig foot. And then when she sliced it open, it's almost like a passion fruit inside. It's like bursting with like membrane-y, seedy, just juiciness on the inside. Oh, sea cucumbers are on the, on the chopping board. Oh, the squirt. You ready, Mark? First piece of octopus, right in the kitchen. <laughs> oh yeah, it kind of like sucks your, suck the little it. suction cups. It'll stick in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that's as fresh as possible. The, the sesame oil. And that paste is like a bean paste. Oh, that's amazingly fresh. That texture. Very. 
Dude, you gotta get the spoon worm. Man, it is just way too much action happening. Oh, those are the pen shells. She sliced it all up and gonna, that one's gonna grill. All the octopus is coming out. They work so fast. I'm just excited and confused all at the same time and just amazed. But all the fresh sashimis are all ready, ready to go. Uh, for the octopus, the big octopus, half of it is gonna be steamed, half of it is grilled. And then I think, I didn't even see where the crab went, but I think that that's in the boiling water, that's in the jacuzzi right now. And for those giant pen shells, she emptied them out. They look like scallops, they're like massive, like scallop looking, but those are pen shells and then they slice them up and those are grilling. <laughs> First time ever to write Korean. They, they wanted me to sign, signature a piece of paper and then write something in Korean. Oh, good. I don't know what I'm writing. <laughs> Not sure what I just wrote, but they are very, very happy about it. Let me know what I just wrote. Wow, this is unbelievable. We got the Korean style low table sitting on the floor. The entire table is just filled with the bounty of the sea, everything that we, I think we're still waiting on the crab, but the sea cucumber is just kind of like melting on the plate, the spoon worm, the uni, octopus, two ways, but three ways, because we got the raw one as well, and then the, the sea squirt, two types, sashimi. Is that the stir fried octopus, Jeff? Yeah, I'm glad we did it this way. Yeah. There's no need to chew. You can squeeze the tuna between your tongue and the top of your mouth and it just dissolves. My first bite is gonna be the spoon worm. And this is, it, um, it is a very unique, peculiar looking creature from the sea. And then she hacked it all up into small pieces and now it kind of looks like intestines. Wow, that is chewy. It's almost like gummy. Like, oh yeah. Oh, it has a little bit of a like seaweedy taste to it. Okay, I'm gonna try the sea squirt. Um, I believe that the darker red one is the the pig hoof sea squirt. I just made up that name, but the darker one, the the really orange one. Look at that. Oh, it even like squirted out of a little. You can even squirt it once it's cut up. It came out of a little pore when I picked it up. That is like straight jelly in a skin. Wow. That is, whoa. <laughs> that has a unique flavor. Yeah. It tastes like you're eating the sea, but at the same time, it kind of like, has like an ammonia taste. These are pineapple. That's the pineapple. Try the dark orange one. Try the dark orange one. Oh, oh here's the grilled. Oh, that's nice. That sea squirt, that is unique. Like, I think the, I think I've tried the sea pineapple, but never that pig hoof one. That pig hoof one, that is chewy. Like I'm still kind of chewing a, a little strand of it. And it has kind of a, it really is like, that is seafood. Like I don't think you can get anything more seafoody tasting than that. It just came out fresh out of the grill. This is the pen shell. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that's great. That's like, it is like a scallop, but like almost like a little more leathery and smoky and that's all it is. This is the boiled octopus. For this one, I think I'll dip in the sesame oil. That octopus, the freshness of it, that texture, like a little bit chewy. Mm. And then just with that complimenting sesame oil is, is what makes it. One of the joys of Korean food. Kimchi after every bite. Okay, this one is the sea cucumber. And it literally looks like it's just melting on the plate. Look at that, a ring, a ring, kind of gooey. And that color is amazing. I think this one looks like it needs some sauce. Can you break that up? Yeah. Stuck to the sauce. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have had sweet cucumber before, but that is, it's like slimy and crunchy at the same time. And just like very neutral taste. It's not really seafoody like the, like the C square. Okay, we're doing some 
table shifting on the dishes. This one is a stir-fried octopus. And she just stir-fried this in a fire. There's onions, there's sesame seeds, there's chili paste, and maybe zucchini. I'm just gonna reach in for a, a bite. Oh, wow. Oh, that is delicious. The smoky wok paste, the onions, the chili paste, the sesame seeds, that's what makes it. I don't even know if I got a piece of octopus on that bite. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Oh yeah, it sucks on your... Oh. Octopus is a little bit chewy. <laughs> but it is really tasty. I'm gonna try the sea urchin next. Okay. Oh! Oh, perfect! It came out. Oh, it's so delicate. I dropped it and a chunk of it fell out. Oh man, this is kind of, oh, come on guy. Okay, but if I pick it up like this, it will, oh yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta pick it up like this. Okay, perfect. Oh yes. Oh, the sea urchin just, there's nothing like sea urchin. Like it's just a, it's a prize from the sea. It's so like perfectly rich, eggy, creamy. It's amazing. That one has kind of a, a complexity of flavor. Some of them have a little more bitterness. Some of them, some of them, this one is very sweet. And it's just amazing how it fits within this shell. They cut the strip of tuna. The, the more red meat akami is on this side and then the more fattier meat is over on this side. I'll go for a medium, a medium piece right there. That's perfect. That is delicious. Like, just so pure. There's nothing like tuna, okay? I gotta try going on all those belly pieces. And I think I'll try dipping it into the, the sesame oil. Mm. It just melts in your mouth. The fat, another piece of the tuna. Raw garlic. I think I'll do an entire chili on that bite. A little bit of fermented bean sauce. Huh? Mm. Oh. The burst of flavor, the garlic with chili, the soybean taste, and the fish just kind of melts in your mouth all in between that. Okay, we're moving into the crab. Yeah, I'll also break it into a half as well. Eh? Oh, look at this. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. He just created me a perfect snow crab bite that's just blooming like a flower. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, wow. Yeah, just, I mean, all other seafood is great, but there's just, crab is just, it's the best. Crab is, is always good if it's fresh. And it's just like, man, the stringiness of that. Skin should be pretty soft, but I don't know if I'll be... Oh yes, okay. I don't know how pretty I am at... I'm not always the greatest crab cracker. Oh, there's the scissors, okay. Oh yeah, this. This is the way. The amazing thing about a snow crab is the stringiness and the like strands. Come on. Okay, that's pretty good. Just look at that. Maybe just a slight dip in the sesame oil, but it really honestly does not need anything. Like, yeah, I mean, of all the other foods, that is the greatest mouthful of breakfast. I'm going back in for the sea cucumber. Oh, that crunch is just, it will surprise you every bite. Okay, I think I need to follow that with something strong. Those peppers are amazing too. Like, they are, the like spiciness does creep up on you. Okay, saved this creature for last. Some type of a shell. Oh, I've got some of the crab roe on my fingers. Okay, oh, okay. I think I can just kind of grab it and pull it out. Oh, it might be a little, come on guy. No, it might, it's a little slippery. I think it has to be poked, yeah? Okay, I think I got him. 
Whoa! <laughs> Curled around the top of your neck. Wow! Nice! Let me, let me, let me uncurl it so you can see how long that is. Wow! Look at that guy. This was the bonus that was attached to the, the pen shell. And that's kind of like the poopy section. Take that off. Oh, it's, oh, it's like slimy and juicing. Yeah, there you All go. All right. Anybody wants chunks? That's nice. It Thank should be goodness. really, yeah. should be really good. I think this calls for some fermented bean paste. Mm. Oh, that's really good. It's not that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The shock. Not nearly as chewy as some of the other seafoods we had this meal, especially the sea cucumber. But mm, that's it's like squid, but like a tender squid. Oh, it's always a little higher, harder to put on your shoes after the meal. We did a little bit of relaxing on those low tables. The best thing about sitting on the ground is that you can kind of. Kind of relax down after you finish your meal. That was an amazing meal. They are very cool here. Oh, is he mixing up over there? That's that must be the fermented bean paste. Wow, that's a bucket full. I think our main lady is not here anymore. It's restaurant number 16. Not totally sure the name. This is the name. Uh, but they did a great job at slicing and dicing and cooking. I think just like a few dishes were cooked, uh, but slicing and dicing the seafood, definitely very cool. Whew, what a meal, what a breakfast. We have come to the end of this Seoul Korean seafood, just breakfast extravaganza. That was an amazing meal. That's one of the most extensive spreads of seafood for, well, for breakfast for sure that I've ever had. Uh, the, some of the squid was a little on the tough side, but things, and some of the other little squirty things were a little bit on the tough side too, and very, very seafoody. You gotta really love seafood to, to enjoy that. Uh, the crab was just unbelievably good. The pen shell was delicious. The, yeah, it was just great. And I love the Korean banchan, the different side dishes, the vegetables, the sauces, the sesame oil just stands out, it's delicious. Ah, uh, what a meal. What a, what another fantastic time in Seoul. I wanna say a big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Seoul. See you on the next video.